Filipino has been fighting external Cleveland's baseball arenas for a very long time, requesting the neighborhood Major League Baseball crew change a name many think about bigoted. Yet, the following spring, Yanio will put down his signs and require his 11-year-old child inside progressive field interestingly. We can at last go to a game, said Yanio, the leader head of the American Indian Movement of Ohio. I can hardly wait to advise him. We've been sitting tight seemingly forever for this. Yenio will actually want to go to on the grounds that Cleveland declared on Friday that it will change its name from Indians to Guardians, turning into the most recent games group to veer away from group names and mascots that reference indigenous individuals. For quite a long time, Native American gatherings like Yenio's and others have requested of sports groups to wipe out indigenous names, mascots and symbolism, demanding that they are bigoted corrupting and that they advance generalizations. Energy for far and wide change had been working lately, and was sped up the previous summer in the midst of the fights for social equity following the homicide of George Floyd by Minneapolis cop Derek Chauvin. In the wake of huge scope fights for social equity that followed Floyd's demise, the Washington football team disposed of the name Redskins, thanks in enormous part to pressure from supports like FedEx. Nike, and Pepsi. Cleveland was viewed as the following most prominent indigenous group name in American games, and in December the group chose to roll out the improvement, in the wake of talking with neighborhood and public indigenous associations. One of the associations the group went to was the National Congress of American Indians. Aaron Payment, NCAIs. First VP and furthermore Administrator of the Salt Sainte Marie Tribe of Chippewa Indians, commended Cleveland for making what he said was a troublesome, however fitting choice. I'm certain there will be some pushback, Dr. Installment said, yet they are on the right half of history and merit recognition for it. This new name shuts the books everlastingly on a harsh name. Probably the most intense pushback came from previous President Donald J. Trump who depicted himself as a previous baseball fan and considered the change a shame. A little gathering of individuals with totally insane thoughts and strategies, is compelling these progressions to annihilate our way of life and legacy, he said in a proclamation. Be that as it may, the group has been moving unavoidably away from the disruptive name for quite a long time and Guardians will be the fifth name in establishment history, the group was otherwise called the Blues, the Broncos and the Naps. In 2019, Cleveland deserted its exaggeration chief Wahoo logo, which Major League Baseball said was improper for use on the field. Terry Frankena, the Cleveland administrator and a previous player for the group, whose father likewise played there, said the objective was to address the whole city. It's anything but about us, he said at a news meeting. It's about others, and you need to venture outside of your own skin and consider others that may have distinctive shading skin and their opinion. We are attempting to be very aware and I'm truly pleased with our association. The new name, which was presented by the club alongside new logos in a two-minute video in the group's Twitter account, has some reverberation with Ohio inhabitants who consistently cross the Cuyahoga River on the Hope Memorial Bridge. A gathering of gigantic, winged Art Deco figures on the range are known as the Guardians of Traffic and are supposed to be images of progress. They stand only a couple minutes drive from the group's arena. The new logo of a glimmering G with wings, acquired from the sculptures, Likewise has an Art Deco feel to it and the style of the new Content Gatekeepers logo is said to imitate the supports on the underside of the extension. The shadings will continue as before, red, white and blue. Paul Dolan, the group's administrator and CEO, noted in the news meeting that he is a fifth-age Clevelander who grew up with the old name. We recognize the name change will be hard for a few of us, and the progress will set aside time, he said. It is our expectation and conviction this change will redirect us from a troublesome way and rather steer us toward a future where our fans, city and area are totally joined as Cleveland Guardians.
the club said that in the course of the most recent A while it's anything but a broad effort program for certain 40,000 fans to track down the new moniker and directed 140 hours of meetings with local area individuals and group staff. They said they created a rundown of 1,198 potential names. Alex King, Cleveland's VP for Advertising and Technique, said the guardians of traffic sculptures have acquired footing and fame in the city over the quite a while, particularly among more youthful grown-ups, who burn through specialty loggers out of mugs, set on liners, while wearing t-shirts, with everything portraying the sculptures. We realize this would not be as full broadly as it is locally, he said, and we approve of that. We truly needed to pressure the nearby with the new name. For some time it appeared to be that the Spiders, the moniker utilized by a now-dead Cleveland National League group from 1889 to 1899, was a top choice. Others recommended a reference to Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, simply hinders from the arena, would be suitable.